welcome back to another Procreate tutorial. Today we are going to create some beautiful filled letters in the digital paper cut style. This is one of the first ones that I did and these letters are a little bit thin. You can still fit some small elements in there. We are going to be recreating this one with butterflies in it. Here are a couple other examples with a little bit more complex shapes. As you can see, the thicker letters leave you more room to add your other fun elements in between. This is the one that we're going to be doing today. We're going to be creating the word fly and then filling it with some butterflies and a little vine. Let's get started. We're going to create a new canvas by coming up here to this plus icon and we're just gonna use a square for this. The first thing we need to do is create our letters that we're going to fill. This will be a very similar process to the Emboss Deboss video that I had on my channel previously. I'll put a link to that here. Let's go ahead and double tap on black to select that. Then we're gonna come over here to our wrench icon. We're going to come to add and add text. Let's turn caps lock on and type the word fly. Double tap on our word and this will bring up our font menu. As I said, a really bold, thick font works well for this because you have more room inside the letters to add different elements. For this one, I'm using the font called Poppins, which you can download for free from Google Fonts. I'm using the version called black, which is even thicker than bold. And I'm gonna to come to this kerning here, which is the space between the letters, and just space them out a little bit more. And then we can increase the size here to make it fill our page a little, a little bit. I'm going to swipe left on this layer to duplicate it so I have a backup copy of a font that I can actually edit. Uncheck that box to hide it. And let's just move that down to the bottom so we have that as a backup. Now on this layer that's still visible, we're going to tap it and choose rasterize. This will convert that font into shapes. I'm going to come down to snapping here and turn this on temporarily so we can center this on our page. You can see I have a gold line there and there. I want to have both gold lines. So I have a crisscross. And then I can turn snapping back off. Now we're going to take this word and create the debossed text effect to look like it's pushed into the page. That way we can fill it with some different elements. Let's go ahead and select this layer and then choose Invert. Add a new layer by clicking the plus icon here. Tap on it and choose Fill Layer. Now if we push and hold to isolate it, you can see that we have a layer filled with everything except the letters. We are going to duplicate this. One of them we want to keep black. The other one, we're actually going to change to the color of our paper. Let's take two fingers to turn on alpha lock, swipe to the right on the top layer and actually the word fly. Choose whatever color you want for your paper. I'm going to use kind of a bright teal here. Then with alpha lock turned on, we can choose fill layer and it will change these colors. And then we can turn alpha lock off. Now we're going to move our shadows down to our lower left. This will start to create that debossed text effect. Come to your transform tool, that's your arrow. And I'm gonna pinch to zoom out just a little bit so I can see this corner. 
And let's just start moving this down a little bit. And the more you move this, and the more we're going to blur this, the deeper that text will look like it's pushed into the page. That looks pretty good for now. Let's come to our adjustments menu, that's the magic wand, and go down to Gaussian Blur. Then we can just slide our pencil across the page to create that blur effect. And now we can see that our text is getting debossed into the page. In order to get the highlighted edge of these letters, we're gonna need one more copy of this. Let's duplicate this one more time. Grab this middle layer, and we're gonna brighten this up just a little bit by coming to our adjustments menu to hue, saturation, and brightness. And take this up maybe to 55, 55 to 60, somewhere in that range. Then we're going to come back to our transform tool and just tap a few times off of this lower left corner. And you can adjust how much of an edge you want on your paper. Once you're happy with the size of that, we're going to blur this a little bit as well to give it a softer edge. Before that, I see one little spot here we need to clean up. Any of these sharp edges, we wanna connect these. We're going to sample this color by pushing and holding with our finger and grab a really small monoline brush. Make sure you're on the correct layer. And we're just going to connect the tip of this here. We'll do the same thing on the edge of the F here. It's a small detail that's gonna make a big difference. All right, now we can go ahead and give this a slight blur. Come back to adjustments, down to Gaussian Blur, and we're going to slide across the page. Now we've got our debossed letters here. Let's go ahead and add our paper texture to this and then we'll start adding some elements inside. We need to add the paper texture to a couple different places here. We're going to add it above this top layer, add a new layer with a clipping mask, and we're also going to add it down here to the bottom. Add a new layer above with a clipping mask. Whatever paper texture you have, there's a link to one in the description of this video if you need one. We're going to add that onto this layer and then change the blend mode. Come to your wrench icon and we're either going to insert a file or a photo depending on where you saved it. That will come in and you just wanna make sure that it's covering your entire canvas. And the trick with this is to just duplicate this layer so that it matches up from the top to the bottom. Let's swipe left on that, and we'll just drag one of these down. And we can actually get rid of this extra layer here. And then we're just going to change the blend mode on both of these to overlay. And now we have our debossed text. Our next step is to add some butterflies and a vine in here. In order to add the butterflies, I've actually created a custom stamp brush to make this easier, but you can, of course, draw them yourself. Let's add a new layer at the top. I'm using black for this outline, and I'm going to adjust the size and just stamp that on there. And let's put one more over here. I'm going to use the selection tool to readjust and flip these individually. I've got it on freehand right now, so I can circle around this one, tap it at the end, switch to the transform tool. I'm going to flip this one horizontally. 
and resize it. So it's just going to perch right here on the edge of that Y. I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of these and readjust them to where I'd like them. And then we'll be right back. Now I've got these butterflies where I want them. I'm gonna go ahead and get these filled in with some color. In order to see them better, I'm going to isolate that layer by pushing and holding on this check mark right here. Then I can zoom in and start color dropping some different colors onto these butterflies. Now I've got all the butterflies colored in. Let's go ahead and bring the rest of our layers back. Now we could just erase parts of our butterfly layer in order to make the illusion that they are partially in and partially out of these letters, but that would be what we call destructive editing. If I went ahead and just erased part of this and then I decided to move the butterfly, I couldn't get it back. So what we're going to do instead is actually use a mask. Now before we add our mask, we do want to make sure that all of our effects are added. So we are going to add our shadows and our highlights to this first, and then we're going to mask it all at the end. Let's go ahead and duplicate this layer twice. We are going to alpha lock the bottom layer and turn it black. The middle layer, we are going to bring up the highlights on. This can go to probably 70% or so. Let's take our highlights to this top right corner by using the transform tool. Just tapping a few times so we can see that edge. And then our shadows, we're going to take down to the bottom left. And I'm not going to tap this time because I want these to be a little bit more dramatic. I want them to be offset a bit more. We are going to blur these as well. And let's take the opacity down just a little bit by coming to this end right here. And take that down to maybe 80%. And in order to make this easier, we're going to group these. Make sure you have one layer selected and you can swipe to the right on the other two and choose group. I'm going to name this butterflies. Now if we collapse this, we can show or hide by the entire group instead of having to do multiple layers. Push and hold on that check mark. Let's turn the background color off. And now we are going to take three fingers and swipe down to bring up our copy and paste menu. Let's choose copy all. Come back to our layers. Let's bring everything back. Now we are going to actually hide the butterfly layers. I'm going to bring these down with the rest of my backup just so they're out of the way. Add a new layer at the top, and then we are going to paste what we just copied. So three finger swipe down and paste. And now we have one layer that has all of that butterfly highlights, shadows, and everything built in. And this is what we're going to do the mask on. Let's tap on this layer and choose mask. It's right above clipping mask. And you'll see it's added an attached layer that's completely white right now. This means that nothing is hidden, nothing is masked right now. As we draw on this with black, it's going to mask or hide some of what's underneath. Let's grab a monoline brush. And then we're going to come in here and choose which parts of these are going to be hidden behind some of the letters. As we draw our mask, 
we can start hiding some pieces of these butterflies. The great thing about a mask is if you go too far like this, you can switch back to white and bring back those pieces. And if we were just erasing, we couldn't do this. And now we've got this butterfly partially out and partially under this letter. Let's mask part of these other two butterflies as well. With letter forms, it's really nice to use the quick shape of the line feature. If you add one finger here, it will go completely vertical or horizontal. And then you can mask the rest of this on this side. In order to see where the edge of this letter is, I'm purposely taking my mask a little bit far and then I'm gonna go back and clean that up. And now we have our butterflies on top, under, and between all of these letters. The last thing we're going to do is add a little bit of a vine going between the letters and the butterflies. For the vine, let's choose a really nice green. and kind of a medium size monoline brush. How big is this? That's a pretty good size. We're going to add a new layer at the top and draw in the vine wherever you think it's going to be because we're going to mask parts of this later. Still a little bit thick. I want to be able to see where different parts of this vine are crossing over. I went with a little bit of a thinner brush. Now let's add a few leaves to our vine. I'm going to do this on a new layer at first, just so it's easier to clean them up and get those nice edges. I've added all the leaves and combined them back onto one layer with the vine here. Now we can go ahead and add our effects to this and then we are going to do the same thing with another mask for this one. First thing I'm going to do is add a new layer with a clipping mask. I want to use a lighter, a little bit of a brighter green to add some veins to our leaves here. I think I'm going to use a soft brush. You can find this in the airbrushing set of Procreate. And then I'm going to use this darker green with a just a regular monoline brush to add a darker edge to all these leaves. And then we're going to blur these. That's the nice thing about the clipping mask is you can come right on this edge here and get really close without worrying about going over. Now let's come to our adjustments to Gaussian Blur and just smooth those out. The last step for this is going to be the same as we did for the butterflies. Let's go ahead and pinch to combine these. And then we're going to duplicate this twice. We're going to turn the bottom layer black. Brighten up the middle layer. Move our highlights up and our shadows down. 
then we can blur our shadows. Let's go ahead and group these as well. Let's name this Vines. Isolate the group. Make sure your background is off. Three fingers swipe down to copy. Bring everything back. And then we are going to bring this down as well. You can just delete these groups, but if you have enough layers, I like to hang on to my backups just in case I want to make changes later. Add one more layer at the top, three fingers swipe down, and paste those vines. Now we're going to do the same thing. Tap on the vine layer and choose mask. Now make sure that you have solid black selected. Now you're just going to choose which parts of the vine are going to be in front or behind, the butterfly as well as parts of the letter. If you mask too much, you can always bring it back with white. And now you have a beautiful 3D filled letter art piece that you can share. I hope you found this helpful. I love showing people how to combine creativity and technology on this channel. If you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a quick thumbs up down below. It really does help out my small channel and just tells YouTube that more people should watch this. If you wanna learn some more Procreate tips and tricks, make sure that you watch this video next.